<laughs> like tongue twister, right? <laughs> wow. I had to, I had to practice it. <laughs> I'm scared. Like, when, have, when I have to say it, I'm just like, give me some warning because I'm going to freak out saying I was like, call me Ava. Yeah. Can you uh, tell us about your character and how she's going to be interacting with the rest of the cast? Uh, you, uh, well, in this season, you don't. Well, she has her own squad in this, in this season. You want to see her, her team that she is in charge of. Um, and then towards the end of the season, uh, I, we, we hang out a little bit and um, cause some trouble. <laughs> well, knowing your character, know each other, yeah, knowing your character know each other. <laughs> that makes me think that she's going to be doing a little spying for you. Oh my god, what a smart gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give it up. You're looking at a dream team right now. Like, seriously. <laughs> but is, is your character as devious as she has been? Have you seen anybody in politics <laughs> as a politician who's not dark? <laughs> How could you not be dark watching all these injustices going on and thinking that he can't do anything about it. It makes you feel dark no matter what. But yes, yes. yes. So, you know, what she's gone through has, has made her character and her personality. She's coming from a tribe of politicians. Her ancestors are all good politicians and have lost their lives to protect Earth. So, she must. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> So put a woman through some stuff, and she's gonna turn stuff. <laughs> Do you get to be older than ever? Can you say that? I've I've seen it in the book, but. Uh so but I'm not. Yeah, I think we do. Yes, yes. Because I thought the stuff with you and Holden's mother. Was oh, very I cool. love. And that's your fascinated that. with it. Your character seems to be very fascinated. Yeah. In the snow, that beautiful shot in the snow, the wide when she's walking with the really sun. Love that. And Frances Fisher. My God, she is that woman she's in the Midwest. <laughs> loved it. Frances is like my sister. We've been born on the same day, same. The year, really? Same day, same year, same month. What? May 11th, I swear to God. I'm not going to give out the year because maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe Francis won't like it. It's <laughs> what, what Francis is saying. That's right, I'll take off for the team. I'll let you guys know what year. My birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What can you tell us about, you know, what can you say about season two without giving much away about where your journeys are going to take you? You see Bobby kicking some ass. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, that was fun for me to shoot. I like, I mean, oh, you get to see her power suit. Um, and like in the first shot of season two, you get to see her power suit and, and what is capable. Of. Um, I, on the other hand, have to figure out how to carry this 50 pound freaking <laughs> thing uh, for 12 hours or 13 hours, but it's gonna look epic and epic. And your wire works. Um, yeah. Every yeah. time I see her, she's like, she's coming down from the wire. Yeah. Oh my god. Are you going to take me up there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to take me. Take me with you. I'm dying to see the other one. What I love about the second season is that first season it was about introducing these characters. Uh, Deeply. Usually, where with the genre of science fiction, we don't see uh, elaboration on characters. We get to know the characters, and then this character go and does a certain job. But Expanse took almost ten episodes to introduce each and every character and with full dimension. This season is about the interaction. They meet each other, and as a result, they change. Many things change. You know how they say when there is one person, it's all about uh, your, the belly, you know, the, giving yourself, you know, yeah, 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 yourself yeah, yeah. Uh, and having the shelter. With two, love comes in. Yeah. With, when there are three people, politics starts. <laughs> <laughs> so now they are interacting, and of course, it, it affects politics, universal politics, a lot. Uh, you talked about your your power suit. Yeah. You wear a lot of power outfits, like in a They're different amazing. way. Right? <laughs> yes. Is it fun? Is it fun to? Uh, 
honestly, it is. Like that. Honestly, it is. Yes, uh, it's interesting. I'm a tomboy. In real life, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I'm always with my jeans and t-shirts. This one gives me a chance to turn into a woman, yeah. full voluptuous woman, yeah. with all the jewelry and and you know she's sitting there watching the others. Yeah. And the strange thing is that they keep putting it, adding it. Yeah, I feel like every time I see you, the more salary, the more jewels. More, more jewels. It's getting one day, one day our, our designer said something which I love, and they were putting more and more chains and, and bracelets, and, and it, it, it was getting look, it was looking better and better. And all of a sudden she turned into the mirror and she said, "You know what? The funny thing is that the more you put on her, the better she looks. <laughs> she can carry it. <laughs> yes, the tiger can carry it. <laughs> you know, I enjoy it." I enjoy it a lot. Our designer, John Hendricks, is doing such a great job. Oh, it's amazing. And it's amazing that uh, Abasarala gets to wear these uh, uh, saris, a different you know, outfits, once only. Once? Oh, once. so you had, so every time you wear a sari, it's a different sari? It's a different, wow. it's a different wow. outfit. They work Whether out. it's a sari or kimono or different outfit. And that's sort of to establish the character a little bit too, right? Because yes. she's, she seems very... Uh, Meticulous. Yes, yeah, yeah. With her look with her as much as she is with politics because I think she's uh, she thinks what my mother used to think you have to be presentable